There must be more clues in Lee's office at Feast. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know, I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. <laughs> this office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... There. High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture.
Looks like this note is for May. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh, I see. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance, but he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Creepy. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! Ah! 
I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. <laughs> okay, got that one. Looks like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like the old bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. Keeper. Thank <laughs> you. 
and the hat trick. All set. That'll get a recall ordered, courtesy of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Hey, Yuri. I'm going to keep checking into Devil's Breath. Need to find out why Lee wants it. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. it off. Can't have the ones inside feeling left out. Going down. MJ. I'm at the first location on your list, and guess what I found? Demons? Give the lady a prize. See if you can figure out what they're up to while I introduce myself. Can up your 
game, because those last guys are gone. Yeah, that location is supposed to be in a quarter of two years for Chinatown shops. What they're importing is not something I want as a memento. Drugs? Demons. Looks like they bring in their buddies in shipping containers. Explains how foreign nationals with criminal records are getting into the country. You guys look mad. I admit, I used all my good quips on the others, but I don't mind repeating myself. MJ, call the police. All the demons are incapacitated. Don't forget to bring me a souvenir. Hey, Yuri, I'm gonna keep checking into Devil's Breath. Need to find out why Lee wants it. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. These cameras aren't cheap. If Felicia's really strapped, why is she leaving them lying around? I love making you chase me, Spider. Someday I might even let you catch me. Just not today. Black Cat does enjoy playing games with people. Especially me. Hey, Yuri. I'm gonna keep checking into Devil's Breath. Need to find out why Lee wants it. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. 
See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Aunt May's recipe for wheat cakes. <laughs> I could never make it work on my own. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Uh, be right there. I wonder if this means I have a job again. Yes, I can stop by. Just for a minute. Here's another call from Doc. Peter, I want to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. Really behind all this. No Always eat your vegetables. All units, a truck carrying an armed explosive is evading pursuit. Please proceed to Chelsea ASAP. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay. I think that should do it. You ready?
Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add corp to that, and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back.
Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Interesting. Doc's hardwiring in a basic spatial mapping system. Very cool. Arms will have a sense of their surroundings now. Should help me to tune the arm's gyro to auto-orient. This will really help users maintain their equilibrium while wearing the prosthetic. What's that? Hey, sorry I missed your call. Are you still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. My underarm webs. I thought they might help me glide short distances, but they never really worked. Looked cool, though. <laughs> 